One Room Schoolhouse, take two. Okay, this is a math problem that was generated in a one room schoolhouse, and it was an example that I used to illustrate how a computer could uh, uh, calculate up a problem uh, through the uh, calculation process. It uh, was in a programming language called BASIC. That's Beginner's All-Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code. So I could illustrate how programming could be done on a computer and it would come up with an answer. Well, now for the problem that was presented to the one-room schoolhouse students. It started because the kids were uh, cutting up and they uh, were not settled down. So the teacher said, I've got a problem for you and you cannot go home until you have given me an answer to this problem. Now I want you to add 1 through 100. And I'll give you the example of it. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 5 is 15, plus 6 is 21, plus 7 is 28, plus 8 is 36, plus 9 is 45, plus 10 is 55. So this problem had the desired result and all the students, uh, uh, what they used at that time was uh, slate and chalk. So they got out the slate and they started marking down. They would have intermediate answers on one side and they did the calculation on the other. Because she said, all I need from you is your name on a piece of paper with your answer. So they uh, uh, was working along and she started looking around the room and there was one student, he was just kind of looking off into space, whatever. And so she goes over to him and she says, now I've told you, you have to come up with an answer before you can go home. He says, well, I'm thinking about it. So anyway, she uh, went back to her desk and that's it. Did I really think this out? Because I've got to have the answer to this problem. So she thought, well, I did give them 1 through 10, which is 55, and 1 through 100, if I take it on each individual digit, um, I would actually have to do that 10 times. So 10 times the 55 is 550. Now for that second digit, it goes 10 through 90. So 1 through 9 is 45. Well, if it was just one digit, it would be 450. But since it's two digits, it would be 4,500. So 4,500 plus the 550 is 5,050. And that is the answer. So slowly uh, the students came up with an answer and they presented it on her desk. And uh, so she said to each one of them, okay, I'll see you tomorrow and I'll verify who's got the right answer or how many have the right answer. Okay, well, the next day uh, she stated, well, we had one student that had the correct answer. So let's go over to him and see how he arrived at that answer. And she said, okay, when I approached you yesterday, you said you were thinking about the problem. So how did you come up with this answer? He said, well, you said uh, the numbers were 1 through 100. So I took 1 and 100. Added them together, that was 101. So I took the next one, which was 2 and 99. And that was also 101. 3 and 98, 101. 4 and 97, 101. Well, I kept going down, and the last numbers I used would have been 50 and 51, which would be 101. So the answer has to be 50 times 101. So she said, 
Well, Einstein, you're liable to make something of yourself one of these days. So that's the story of how I showed uh, people how a computer could do the calculation. It was a simple uh, programming function. Uh, I don't remember exactly how, but it was something like 4i equals 1 through 100, uh, um, and then next i, and continued to loop until it ended at the 100, and it had the answer of 5,050. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this math problem. Okay, have a good day. Bye.